channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 5 electromagnetic induction. So in this video we are going to discuss 5.2 induced EMF. Okay so before we start let us look at the summary for the Faraday's law. What are the equations that we will use for Faraday's law? So for Faraday's law it stated that the induced EMF is directly proportional to <coughs> The induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux. And if we follow Lenz law, Lenz law determine. Okay, so Lenz law also state that the induced current flow in the direction that opposes the change in the magnetic flux. Therefore, equations that we use is EMF induced equals to negative because it's opposed and the flux over dp. So this is a general equation that we will use to calculate the induced EMF. Okay, so after we find the induced EMF, we can use V equals to IR to find I induced, where I induced is equal to EMF induced over resistor. Okay, and for this subtopic also, we also have three types of uh, induced EMF in three types of conductor. Okay, so the first one is straight conductor. Okay, where equations that we will use for a straight conductor is EMF equals to BLV sine theta. And also we have a coin. Okay, where coin here we have two types of uh, changing. The first one is B changing. So when B changing induce EMF will equal to negative NA dB over dt. If let's say the area is changing, EMF will equal to negative NB dA over dt. Okay, so this is the first one, second one. Okay, third one is rotating coin. Okay, so for rotating coin, EMF induced is equal to NBA omega sine omega t. Okay, where the angle here must be between vector A and also vector B. Okay, so these are the three equations that we will use to determine the induced EMF right, in a conductor. Okay, so let us start with example four. The magnetic flux passing through a single turn of the coin is increased quickly but steady at the rate of 5 exponent negative 2. Okay, so 5 exponent negative 2, meaning that here we have the flux over dt. Yeah? Okay, so it's 5 exponent negative 2 if let's say this is a single turn, okay, when n equals to 1. Okay, now if let's say we have 500 turns, calculate the magnitude of the induced EMF. So induced EMF equals to n the flux over dt. Okay, so since we have 500 turns, so we substitute 500. The flux over dt is 5 exponent negative 2. Okay, so the induced EMF, the answer is 25 volt. Okay, so here we only give the magnitude of the induced EMF, so we don't need to find the directions. Okay, example 5. Okay, example 5 actually is a straight conductor. Okay, it's a straight conductor. So initially, this straight conductor is moved to the left. Okay, it's moved to the left. So a 20 cm long metal rod CD is moved with a speed of 25 meter per second across a uniform magnetic field of the flux density 250 milli tesla. Okay, the motion of the rod is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Okay, number one, calculate the induced EMF. Okay, so for this equation, we can refer back for straight conductor, induced EMF is equal to BLV sine theta. Okay, so EMF induced for a straight conductor is equal to BLV sine theta, where B is 250 milli tesla, L is the length 20 cm, so it's 0 0.2 meter, V is 25 sine okay the angle here must be between vector b and also vector v where the question already mentioned the motion is perpendicular to the magnetic field if you refer here b is out from the page and your velocity is to the left so it's actually sine 90 degree okay therefore the induced emf is equals to 1.25 volt okay next if the rod is connected in series with the resistor with the resistance of 15 ohm determine the induced current and its direction okay so induced current as i mentioned just now we already found the induced emf therefore i induce is equal to induced emf over resistor okay so 1.25 over 15 ohm we will get 8.33 exponent negative 2 ampere okay so now the direction so if we want to determine the direction we must use Fleming right hand rules to find the i induce okay right hand rules to find the induced i okay so now our v is to the v is to the uh, left b is up from the page okay so if you use flaming right hand rules b is up from the page so you must point up from the page and the velocity actually is the motion okay the motion is uh, acting to the left therefore the current that flowing through is actually acting upward okay so this is i induce 
Okay, so you must take that here. I must. Okay, I induce mass flow upward. Okay, from D to C. Okay, from D to C. Okay. Okay, next. The total charge passing through the resistor in 2 minutes. So we want to find the value for Q and they give you the time taken. Okay, so we can use I equals to dQ over dt where Q equals to it to find the charge that passing through the resistor. Okay, I, the value that we get just now is 8.33 exponent negative 2. T is 2 minutes, so we need to convert it into second. So 2 times 60 second. Therefore, the charge that passing through the resistor is 10 coulomb. Okay. Okay, we continue with example 6. A coin having an area 8 cm square and 50 tons lies perpendicular to the magnetic field of 0 0.2 Tesla. If the magnetic flux density is reduced to 0, okay, taking 0 0.5 seconds, determine the initial magnetic flux linkage. Okay, now we have the area, we have the number of turns, okay, and the question already mentioned that the coin here is perpendicular to the magnetic field, okay, where the magnetic field is 0 0.2 Tesla. Okay, so this is the initial magnetic field 0 0.2 after that the magnetic flux density is reduced to zero so this is v final where it's equal to zero tesla okay okay now we want to find the initial so initial magnetic flux linkage meaning that we need to include the number of turns okay initial is equal to n b a cos theta okay n is 50 turns b is 0 0.2 area is xcm so i'll convert into meters square so it's negative four okay cos theta okay again Theta here must be angle between vector B and vector A. Okay, and remember vector A must come up perpendicular from the plane. Okay, so this is our vector A. Okay, so now vector A and vector B actually are parallel to each other, so it's cos zero degree. Yeah? It's cos zero degree, actually, we will get one. Okay, so the initial magnetic flux linkage, okay, uh, linkage, uh, this is the symbol. So we can write as 8 times exponent negative 3 Weber. Okay, next. We want to find the induced EMF. So induced EMF, okay, we can write the flux over the T. Okay, we can use final minus initial over T. Okay, where final is 8, exponent negative 3. Initial because B changed to 0, and therefore our uh, the, the final magnetic flux linkage also equals to 0. Okay, and it takes 0 0.5 seconds. So over 0 0.5 seconds. Therefore, the induced EMF we will get. 1.6 times negative 2 volt. Okay, so this is the induced CMF. Okay, if you don't want to use this method, actually, we also can use induced CMF equals to N A D B over D T yeah, because B is changing. Okay, so N A D B over D T, we will take B final minus B initial over T. Okay, so we substitute in N is 50 turns, A is 8 exponent negative 4. Okay, B final is 0, B initial is 0 0.2 over time taken 0 0.5. Okay, so we will get 1.6 exponent negative 2 volt as well. Okay, so for this case, it's actually a coin where B is changing. Okay, so this is the equations that we can use. Okay, so you can choose either one. Okay, example number 7. A narrow coin tensions and the diameter is 4 cm is placed perpendicular to the uniform and the field 1.2 Tesla. Okay, after 0 0.25 seconds, the diameter of the coin is increased. Okay, so now uh, the diameter is increased from 4 cm become 5.3 cm, meaning that when the diameter is increased, the area of the coin also increased. So for this case, actually, we need to use uh, the changing of the area. Okay, so we can find first. The first one, calculate the change in the area. Okay, area equation A is equal to pi r square, or we can use pi d square over 4. Okay, so this is the equation for an area of the coin. Okay, when we say change in the area, meaning that we want to find A final minus A initial. Where A final, pi r square, r here, 5.3 over uh, over 2, okay, we divide it by 2, meaning that we will get roughly 2.65 exponent negative 2, okay, we convert into meter, and remember to square, minus pi r square, so the initial is 4 cm, so is uh, 2 exponent negative 2 squared. Okay, so the changes of the area we will get 9.5 exponent negative 4 meter squared. Okay, so B, if the coin has the resistance of 2.4 ohm, find the induced current. Okay, so in order to find induced current, we need to find first what is the induced EMF first. Okay, so we must find induced EMF where induced EMF for this case, okay, because 
uh, A is changing, uh, so we can write negative N B D A over D T. Okay, so we substitute inside. The number of turns is 10. B is 1.2. Okay, D A over D T. D A here is actually 9.5 exponent negative 4 and the time taken is 0 0.25 second so the induced CMF we will get negative 4.56 exponent negative 2 volt okay so we substitute into the equations here okay where induced CMF is 4.56 exponent negative 2 okay we don't need to substitute negative here because negative here actually want to show the direction is actually opposed okay so negative here shows the direction so when you substitute to find the current we don't need to substitute negative eh? over the uh, Resistance is 2.4. Okay, therefore the induced current we will get 1.9 exponent negative 2 ampere. Okay, so this is the answer for example 7b. Okay, we go to the last question, example 8. Okay, example 8 is a rectangular coin with 100 turns and the dimensions of 10 cm times 15 cm. Okay, it rotates at the constant angular velocity. So when we see this word rotates, meaning that we know that this is a rotating coin. Okay, so later we will use the equations rotating coin yeah, induced for rotating is equal to mba omega sine omega t okay this is the induced current for rotating okay now they give you 200 revolutions per minute actually okay if you refer back sam one omega okay we know that 200 revolution meaning that one revolution is 2 pi so we must times 2 pi per one minute so one minute is equal to 60 second okay so this is the value for omega Okay, where uh, later we will find out the omega is actually equals to 20.9 radian per second. Okay? Okay. Okay, and they give you the magnetic field of the flux density is 5 tesla. Okay, number one, calculate the maximum EMF. Okay, so maximum meaning that sine omega t here must equal to 1. Okay? Okay, n here is 100 turns, b is 5, a is 0 0.1 times 0 0.15. Omega, just now we already found, is actually equals to 20.9. Okay, therefore, the induced CMF, you will get 157 volt. Okay, next. Find the induced EMF at the instance where the plane of the coin makes an angle of 33 degrees to the magnetic field. Okay, so let's say this is your plane and the coin is made 37 to the magnetic field. Okay, so let's say this is 38 degree. This is our magnetic field B. Okay, so now we want to find if the angle is 38 degree. What is the induced EMF? Okay, so we can use EMF equals to NDA omega sine, okay, sine theta, where the theta here must be between the angle between vector B and vector A. So every time when you see vector A, vector A must come up perpendicular from the coin. Okay, so this is the directions of vector A, where it must come up perpendicular from the coin. Okay, so sine theta, the angle here, we must take angle between vector B and also vector A. Huh? We want to take the angle between them. Okay, so since this is 38 degree, meaning that here will be 52 degree. So we substitute inside here, 52 degree. Okay, so again, NBA omega, just now we already found NBA omega here. Okay, NBA omega is equal to 157. So here is actually equal to 157. So you time sine 52 only. Okay, so after pressing the calculator, we will get 124 volt. Okay. So that's all for this subtopic. We will continue with 5.3 self-inductance. See you on next video. Bye.